I'm with Tuck Watkins and Melissa Archer of One Life to Live. This is beautiful. Thank, Thank you, you very much. Oh. I'm wearing Tony Bowles. And wearing a I am wearing a tuxedo. So tell me a little bit. It's Father's Day today. Yes. You're a dad of two. I, my, my is your first Father's six Day? Six months old yesterday. And I would show you a picture. Uh, my kids, who were six months old, set up a Happy Father's Day uh, banner for me with the assistance of my cousin. So yeah, I had to help them. I have gained a holiday by becoming a father. You know, tell me. <laughs> What can you tell me about kind of what your thoughts are about One Life to Live right now with what's been going on, the hiatus? Or what are you guys feeling? I'm 100% behind everything that they're doing. I mean, the hiatus, we're only, we, I think we only started a week early in the hiatus, and everything will be fine. We're, the, we're on hiatus, but the writers are still writing yeah. ahead. The producers are still producing, the editors are still editing. So uh, we all have a pretty good feeling about settling the dispute and, and moving forward and continuing to make programming. One of the things I want to talk to you about tonight also is the last episodes of One Life to Live that are nominated tonight for outstanding drama series, outstanding writing. I watched them back again a year later and they still touch my heart. Not because I'm a geek for One Life to Live, but if you look at really the writing of those shows, I mean, you had some great moments. They were really wonderful. No, you're absolutely right. They well, were absolutely It would be unprecedented for a show that aired a couple dozen times or one dozen times to win an Emmy for Best Show, but if one show can do it, it's one life to live. That's right.